Let's play some volley matches using only nylon string with melee in the 204 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 if you like this video. My melee is at level 9 as you can see. Here are the cards that I'm going to use for the first match. I'm going to use nylon string in all matches and low tour cards only. So that means that there will be no card above 204 in my different volley lineups in this video. So here's uh, the stats once uh, capped in the 204 setup. So this is a sub request video. Some subs wanted to see how characters play volley when there is no makeup, meaning no Mastro Monty. Well, and if possible, they wanted to see me play with melee so of course playing with nylon string only will never trigger the quick catch which normally is activated very often when you put the uh, Maestro Monty on obviously the volley play with nylon string is much less uh, glamour the drop volleys are less beautiful and it's much harder to count passing shots so don't expect to see very nice volley games in this video it's just a raw reality and you will see that's not very beautiful <laughs> but that is volley without any artifice my opponent used the toro twine thinking that he could trigger critical with that but the problem is that with his hands that will be very tricky to activate the uh, critical you know the critical is uh, the chance for you to hit a devastating shot here is at uh, tier 2 with the throw twine but to uh, trigger it well you need to have a minimum of stat in your hands meaning that your hands need to be a minimum strong otherwise you will almost never activate it oh right Let's return the serve with right difficulty. Let's do a slurp return to have some time to buy some time to chip and charge. Okay, sometimes you can hit a good half volley. Well, that's cool that uh, my opponent was using the Toro Twine because without stamina shield, that's not very easy for him to keep the uh, his stamina level high. And I was lucky at the end to make a drop volley with uh, some difficulty, but that was over the net and that's fine. That's enough. All oh, right, well, let's try another lineup. This time with the fitter, Jolly Roger, Microbiotic and Sprint. I keep the Eagle and the Warrior in all lineups. So those two cards we never change. Here are the stats with the new cards. So I have less stamina, a better serve, a better agility thanks to the fitter, but a lower volley stat. Well, let's see how things go. This is a Jonah. Okay, another string versus another string. Yeah. Well, of course, without Master Monty, I have to rely on my opponents hitting some balls out of the court. Otherwise, it will be very difficult win the match. Out. My opponent was committing a lot of unforced errors. Well, in 2 of 4, of course, at uh, that level of trophies, four. well, you don't have a lot of experienced players. They are still grinding for backs, four. trying to build some better lineups trying to improve the game so Five. One. 
they don't know they don't all know how to counter volley perfectly and that's normal when it was in tour four when I started playing well it was kind of a noob too whenever it's about uh, countering volley players so I can imagine that's not easy for them above all because if they play a lot in 3 to 4, well, there should not be a lot of volley players to practice against, to, f to fight against, so that's not easy to, uh, yep, to improve the anti volley game, I would say. Yeah, I can rely on sub serves now and then to win three points. All right, let's open this classic 2 or 4 bag, a Jonah card. Oh, right. Let's move on. A high serve, big forehand, Victoria. Having more stamina. So, uh, we need to uh, try and end rallies fast, and that's cool. My opponent is offering me one free point right from the start. That's cool. Thank you. All right. Not too bad. Let's go. Yep. Passing shots are so easy versus not a string volley player. Oh my gosh. Plus it's Victoria, you know. Well, and the least that we can say about Victoria is that she's not afraid of volley players. Fortunately for me here. This is the high uh, big forehand player, so that means that he doesn't have a lot of agility. And my serves, even if they are not so fast, well, it can be aces. And that's that's the same thing for my opponent. Was hitting a lot of aces. I'm going to try to wrong foot my opponent here. Wow. He knew that I'm going to hit their wall. Why didn't he anticipate? Well, all right. That was not too tricky thanks to the Enforcer Ross. Let's open this to a four bag. So Melee is an all rounder character. She is right handed and supposed to be the high-level version of Hop. So if you are curious about the name Mei Li, know that uh, it has Chinese origin. Mei means beautiful or plum, and Li means beautiful for a feminine for name. So Mei Li means beautiful beautiful <laughs> or plum beautiful. It's up to you to see Mei Li as a beautiful plum or as a beautiful beauty. Hey, hey. let's face a low playing with high serve, two strong hands. One. Yes, it's too easy for him to hit those passing shots. So as you can see, my opponents are hitting passing shots as if Mei Li was a motionless scarecrow on the court. And that's really easy to score against a, a volleyer who doesn't use high level volley cards in low tours and who is playing with nylon string because then the volley player has a low volley stat and becomes a punching bag on the court staying there mostly to hope for the opponent to commit an enforce error so as to come back or to win the match <laughs> it's basically what is happening. Right. See that? Bam! Too easy, right? Four. Playing with volley, with low level volley cards. It's, it's like uh, watching a foreign movie with our subtitles. Or making a Rambo movie with our guns. Or going to Paris with our uh, visiting the Eiffel Tower or Les Champs Elysees, you know? It becomes pointless. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I was lucky there. 
that this Leo is not very agile, but otherwise. Five. Yeah, okay. For that one, I was not very well positioned, of course, but. And with nylon string, of course. You don't have much stamina by the end. And then that's very easy for the opponent uh, to hit a uh, nice if he has some decent serve. So that was especially hard versus this Leo who is using the Master Monty. Look at that stamina. Bah, and very fortunately for me, he hit that too long. Otherwise, we found this uh, help, an intentional help from my opponent. Well, it would be impossible, absolutely impossible for Mei Li to win this match. Well, you know that uh, some tennis matches in this game can be won with uh, kind of uh, luck Second serve. not because you play well but uh, because you the opponent was not uh, very accurate but like here sometimes it's just enough Two. Love. to stay accurate Fault. to hit all balls Second back into serve. the court and wait for the opponent to uh, Love. Commit the error first. Fault. That's how counter punches play. Serve. Well, in theory, because well, the counter punches of tennis Love. clash are quite different. The over overpowered Kaito that I see in the high tours, well, they they almost play like Two. aggressive baseliner. Fault. Some have so strong hands that. Uh, That uh, they play at as if they uh, they were using Victoria. Okay, Five, let's go back to those volley matches. Leo is still very efficient on the serve versus my not so agile melee. And he was quite accurate. After the first uh, unforced errors in this match, match point. Out. yep, very fortunately, this Mei Li has some serve that can help her to get out of some trouble. Well, let's open the, this uh, grand bag, and you are going to see a lineup at the end, but. Uh, you have already seen the different lineups that they use for the different matches. So this is just uh, one of them. Well, I hope you enjoy watching Mei Li play some volley matches using only nylon string and uh, low tour cards in the Tour 4 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay 265 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay 265. Bye-bye.